All right, so what changed in the new patch notes today? Bloody K. It now triggers on consuming runic power over bone shield charge, which is a good change overall. It, it doesn't change the proc chance. You're still going to have like roughly the same uptime and downtime, but it just makes it so that when you're not tanking a boss or when you're only taking magic damage, when your bone shields aren't being depleted, you can actually proc your tier set. So nothing really changes with Bloody K, but it's a good little quality of life change. With Demon Hunter, they haven't reworked Vengeance yet, but there's been a couple of big changes. The meta is now a 2 minute CD. Well, it says 3 minute here, but you take a talent that reduces it by another minute, which means they have a 2 minute meta now. We've never seen this before. It's actually a pretty big deal. It was a pretty big deal playing Guardian Druid with roughly 2 minute Incarn over the 3 minute that it's had in the past expansions. Super nice, but I don't think it's like too game changing. Darkness now is 30% chance in M+. That's pretty big. The problem is it's kind of hard to take Darkness as a Vengeance Theme Hunter, especially with having to take all the Sigil stuff. Like, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to have a longer Sigil duration almost always because of how much of a tier set revolves around that. Aside from that, they also nerfed Demonic by one second. That's also a pretty big deal for Demon Hunters. This is actually a bit rough for Vengeance specifically. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see how it plays. Then there's this nerf right here. This is a pretty bad nerf. I've been hyping up Vengeance, saying how it's going to pop off in large pulls. Like, the more mobs you pull, the more souls you're just going to crap out. But, I mean, this sounds like it's just going to straight up nerf that interaction. You can't just pull big and uh, spawn a crap ton of souls. Which, I mean... What good is this tier set then? It's going to be a straight downgrade from the previous one, if that's the case. The previous tier set was way better if you were pulling small and if you had brand on 5 targets. Now this tier set just sucks on lower targets and doesn't seem that amazing for bigger pulls. I mean, I would have to try it out when it actually comes out, but so far not looking too great for Vengeance. Guardian, okay, this one's a big one. Blood Frenzy is now capped at 5 targets specifically. This is a massive hit. I don't think people realize how big of a hit this is. So look at some of these logs we have here. This is the first pull of Vortex Pinnacle. Blood Frenzy generated 1000 Rage. This is the first pull of Nelfarian's Layer with Lust. It's a massive pull, so Blood Frenzy would be a crazy amount, which I mean, you can see over here. 2200 something Rage generated from the first pull. Now here's just a small pull, right? Like a 4-pack. 400 something. So this is probably close to what we would expect on large pulls. You're going from like over a thousand rage generated down to 400, 500, maybe even 600 at most. That is a crap ton of rage lost. Because we were, we're already losing a ton of rage from the tier set. The tier set, well, the current tier set we have on live is boosting your rage generation by 13% roughly. So that being nerfed on top of this means that the rage economy is extremely tight. I tried messing around a little bit on PTR just before in uh, M0 Algafars Academy, and holy hell, it felt awful to play. I could barely keep up my stacks of Iron Fur while trying to press raise. Like, I, I could barely press raise. I was given very little chances to actually press raise. During Incarn, it's not as bad, but it's still not great. So not only is your Incarn CD going to be longer now, you're also just going to be doing way less damage, uh, way less tanky because less raise means less UFR and obviously just less Iron Furs. So this is probably like the biggest nerf they can possibly do to Guardian. I mean, it, ha it, ha it is the biggest nerf since 10.1.5. On the other hand, the tier set did get buffed pretty big. It now absorbs 25% of the damage dealt before it was 10%. You couldn't ever really consume all of the absorb shield. The ignore pain, bucket, whatever you want to call it. So this going to 25% now is a pretty big buff. But I don't know if it's like enough to make up for the damage from this nerf right here. Ideally, they would buff the base rage generation for bear tank. Like buff mango... All these abilities over here, Mango, just like your base rage generation, Flash, maybe even like make swipe give rage, I don't know. But as it is, it's a pretty huge nerf and it, it's fine for, it's, it's actually a buff for raid because in raid you don't even care about Blood Frenzy at all. Nothing changed with Brewmaster Monk, maybe they, they fixed some of the tier list, I don't know. Or uh, tier sets, not tier list. Rob Paladin, this one's a pretty big one. It now grants damage reduction instead of armor. Armor was useless. 
but the damage reduction is actually really big. And maximum stacks reduced to 5, which means you don't have to spend that much time building up your stacks. And each stacks now grant 2% damage reduction. So defensively, this part is really big. Offensively, I had about 24% uptime on my big Consecrate, which means we're probably getting double of that. Probably be like, you know, closer to like 50. If I played it better, maybe even upwards of 60% uptime on big Consecrate. That is big because it increases the damage by 200%. So let's just say 50% of that, right? You're effectively doubling Consecrate damage. Overall damage wise, your Consecrate would do probably about like 10% more damage, which means you, you straight up just get 10% more damage from this two set. The four set also got buffed. It's not included in the notes, but apparently went from 20% to 40%, which means that's also probably going to do like another extra 3% or so damage. So Prop Pally is looking at a pretty massive overall damage buff. Probably anywhere from 12% to 15% increased damage from a tier set. That is big. On top of like, you know, a good amount of DR. This is a pretty decent amount of DR. My problem, however, is it still plays like complete Like, as great as it is number-wise, it's getting like pretty big number buffs. It'll still be pretty awful to play this tier set. They have to do something about making your Consecrate persist even if you uh, repress it. It should just be like, you know, maybe like the next 15 seconds, your Consecrates, not just like, you know, your singular Consecrate will be buffed. That way, if you, uh, if you accidentally repress your Consecrate, you're not just going to replace your old one. So whatever they do, I wish they just made it a little bit more friendly to play with. But yeah, I mean, either way, this is a massive buff. All right, last one, Warrior. Two set has been re redesigned slightly. Consuming the bleed now grants damage reduction on the warrior instead of applying damage reduction dealt to the target. This is a great change. I don't know why this wasn't how it was in the first place, but this is a massive change. Yeah, it's like a 14 to 16 percent DR. You're just getting a fat DR the entire time instead of just having it on one target. However, it did get nerfed a bit, and by a bit I mean a lot. It's 40% of the remaining bleed damage instead of 100%. If you guys saw the previous video I made, the tier set was doing anywhere from 14 to 18% of my overall damage. And on single target, it was like 20% of my damage. So this is going down big time. Damage wise, this class is getting a pretty big hit, but I think it's fine. I mean, Warriors, I would rather have this massive DR than the extra damage. And the foresight got buffed a bit. Thunderous Roar is probably going to be up pretty frequently now. I don't know what the exact numbers are for this, but I mean, you probably have like Thunderous Roar on like a 30 second cooldown or something. Either way, I mean, this is looking so good for Warriors. I'm pretty pumped about Warrior, pretty pumped about Paladin, extremely Doomer about Bear, not feeling that great about Demon Hunter, and kind of whatever for DK.